Hey, what's up, admin from Plex God? So we are going to we are going to <laughs> sorry, it's a little tie uh, late. Uh, we're going to go ahead and execute the uh, PG move for encrypted. So this existed before, but this is more streamlined with the 7.4 version and up that we have installed. So um, in this one, you do not have to uh, configure Gcrypt. Everything is pretty much just taken care of for you. So remember, prior to anything, we assume that you already get, went ahead and grabbed your authentication keys. These are just test keys, so these are going to be deleted after the video. Um, yeah. So other than that, we just assume that you have that, and we just kind of go on and drive forward from there. So just some considerations about the encryption is, is that um, it works well. It works with PG Blitz now, so that that's a good thing. But make sure that you uh, have memorable passwords and be mindful that you cannot access your data other than through the encrypted mount, meaning probably through Linux or some other means. So you, you have to be aware of that. Remember, once you go encrypted too, you're going to have to re-download it all and upload it to unencrypted if that's what you want to do in the future. So you want to make this choice wisely. It's like, hey, I'm going to go encrypted. I just want to stay with it. There haven't been any reports of why you need the encryption. Um, there haven't been uh, issues with drives being shut down. Um, but, you know, it's good for extra uh, security. And, um, yeah, so with, you know, more security, less flexibility. That's kind of the one thing you got to keep in mind. All right, so let's just go ahead and kick this off. So we're going to go ahead and go to PG Clone. And PG Clone has been awesome now. Um, <laughs> definitely having our own internal authentication services. So we're going to go ahead and pick uh, PG Move with Encryption, so number two. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have to do O authentication. Now, my setup says set because I did it kind of before, but we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways uh, and re-execute. So yours should say not set if you haven't done it. So I'm going to go ahead and set the client ID. And that's what we got this here for. Hit paste. Enter. Acknowledge. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this. And we're going to set the secret ID. Edit. Paste. Enter. So acknowledge. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, put in a password. So three. And type primary password. Now remember, don't forget this. You're going to have to put in two. So this is your primary password. So I'm just going to call this password one for simplicity. And then this is going to salt your other password. Basically, it adds randomization. So even if your regular password was cracked, it wouldn't be cracked. So yes, you're setting two passwords. So if you want to put the same thing, you can. Um, again, your drive shouldn't be as much of a target, but you know, the more security you want, the longer your passwords need to be, and the more complex or different these two should be. But uh, if you're one of those people who tends to forget things or write things down and lose it, it's probably not recommended for you to, 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 to go with this version or <laughs> keep your passwords really simple, like name it after like your brother and sister, you know, so, something you won't forget. Because uh, once you have like tons and tons of data and you're locked out of it, it's a bad day. I say this because we've had a few people to happen to. Okay, um, it's confirming if I want to uh, confirm this. So you can do, if you do no, it's just going to kick you back out and not save anything. Okay, so now we have to do the G drive authentication, O drive piece. And remember, you don't have to do any the Gcrypt stuff, you know, isn't that awesome? You just do this and it's gonna deploy everything for you. So we're gonna do four and then we're gonna do yes. Normally you shouldn't get this saying that it already exists, but I did. So in case you have a prior setup, it will delete it for you. So yeah, a little bit of uh, dummy proofing there. Um, it's asking if that's what I want to deploy with from what I've configured and you can see that those match and One time I didn't match it and I'm just like oh, I'm good and yeah, I was having all kinds of problems So it's never bad to, to match it because sometimes you assume that you put stuff in right. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and proceed We're gonna go ahead and copy and we're gonna paste. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this real quick Okay, thanks for that long wait again All right, so we're gonna go ahead copy. We're gonna paste this in so that's the token that was generated. And it's going to validate everything for you. See? So if it validates, pretty much 99% of the time, you should be good when you're deploying everything. Now be mindful, you haven't deployed this yet. This is just setting up the authentication piece. Um, the throttle limit, I would keep it at 10. I would not move it any higher. If you're one of those people who downloads very rarely, like 200 gigs a day, 10 gigs a day, you can up this to a thousand megabytes. So basically, as soon as it, as soon as it's downloading, is downloading as fast as it can for you. 
I mean, not downloading, uploading. Sorry, getting my stuff backwards. Um, so um, I just leave it at 10. If you have a crazy backlog, if they're just backlog, just make sure you pause uh, with NZV Git uh, or Sonar not to eat up all your disk space. So um, I usually set like a 25 gig threshold. So I leave it at 10. It, it gets there relatively quick. Um, and if you need more, if you need to upload more than 750 gigs per day, that's where you go with the other edition, the PG Blitz. A little bit more complicated, a little bit more work, but um, it's up to you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and deploy this. You know, this is a demo, so every time you do demos, things don't always work the way you want. Like, it's even checking your gcrypt for you. No whammy, no whammy. Stop. Look at that. Bam. Removing all the old services, and then it's installing G Drive, gcrypt service, and we should be pretty much good to go from there. And we're just gonna demo a file working, so it gives you a little bit of peace of mind and something you could follow when you're doing this. Okay, so if you want to test this out, you can type cd mount move. I always go, if you notice me over time, I like to go to the directory directly. Okay, touch um, man bear pig. Man bear pig is on the move. It's from South Park. Right, so what's going to happen is is uh, PG Move uh, does a thirty it check every thirty seconds and moves files every thirty seconds. So if I type LSLA, it might be there. If you want to check um, your status while we're waiting, you type S Move. Sorry, there you go. Control C to get out of it. So you can tell that's working. So there's that initial sleep. And then if you ever want to check, if you want to ever edit it and N move, I don't think this one exists. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. So if you want to look at the service, you want to change anything here, you can. If you do change anything, make sure you restart your service. But if you don't know how to do that, you will have to Google it. And if you, yeah, if you really don't, don't mess with this. Okay. So let's type LSLA. You can see that the file is gone. We should be seeing an encrypted file. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. I selected that. Okay, this is messing with me right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm a little out of it. <laughs> I'm so used to uh, PG Blitz, so um, you can PG Blitz does team drives. I don't. I don't even know why I even brought that up. <laughs> like I said, you can you can tell I'm losing my mind here. Okay, so you can see that it uploaded an encrypted file. So, and it'll exist under there. But you notice that uh, if I type, if you want to check on your files too, because um, you can see all these different files. But if you want to see what you your system sees, you type cd mount uh, gcrypt lsla and there's our file but the reason you can see this is because you're you're it's it's doing the whole encryption for you like like you can see it's merging this with union fs and then you're pretty much good to go um but again that's that file right there uh if you see that uh globe or whatever you know please subscribe like comment uh i know i get kind of tired of it when i hear youtube videos too but it really does help us grow and i hopefully you enjoy this project as much as i do uh, I do appreciate all the people donating. I do appreciate the people sending fixes and patches. This is all a, a community-led project. Um, and other than that, you have an outstanding day.